Hey, what's up, guys? Talon back with a video. Uh, today we're going to do a little testing of um, Starfield with uh, DLSS from Cure Dark. And right now we are currently playing at DLSS 100%, so I believe that's DLAA because it's rendering at that resolution. I do have DLSS turned on in the submenu. Um, and then you can see 4K, 4K. Everything's on the highest preset except for motion blur, uh, film grain is at zero, and depth of field is off. So those are disabled. Everything else, highest preset you can go to. We are going to test here in New Atlantis and show you guys the performance, what New Atlantis looks like. Now keep in mind, I'm also recording this with Shadowplay at 4K, so that is going to cause me some performance hits as well. Probably about five frames per second or so. Absolutely incredible looking game though. I am using an RTX 4090 and a 13900K. Uh, the 4090 I've got overclocked a little bit, put 1000 on the RAM, 100 on the core, maxed out my voltage slider. And 13900K is running in stock. I'm using a Z790 Apex with uh, 7400CL34, 64 gigabyte. Uh, dual rank and dual rank is important because it's 64 gigabyte sticks, so they're more, they're a lot more difficult to push than my single rank 8000 sticks I was running before. Uh, but you get a performance benefit of using dual rank versus single rank, in my opinion. I've tested in games and it's either been the same or better performance than my single ranks at 8000, so I'm happy with using the 64 gigabyte sticks and getting you know that performance uplift. So you can see even running around here in New Atlantis, um, just really, really good performance. <coughs> I'm going to just test things out here. We'll go into first person mode. Look at the uh, reticle there on the uh, optic that we're using. No issues with that. Go down to the well, check the well out. Pretty good performance. Really can't complain, you know? Everything's just running the way it's supposed to run. 140 frames per second. 4K resolution just looks awesome. Nice and crispy because of DLSS instead of that shit. FSR2 that Bethesda and AMD tried to shove down our throats. Just absolute garbage is what they're trying to give us. And they claim that they really care about gamers. Oh, 160 frames per second. Yeah, they really care about gamers by uh, forcing gamers to use inferior technology. Um, the argument that more gamers can use it is such nonsense. You, you can use DLSS if you've got an RTX 2050 laptop. You know, uh, you've had how many years now to get any RTX GPU? Um, and they all support DLSS. All of them. All of them can run DLSS. We're going to go back to the spaceport and we're going to run over to the, the community. See what that runs like. Let's go hop on the train. It's been kind of hazy like this for a while since I've been playing the game. I, I wish there was a way to like accelerate time. It probably is. You can probably sleep somewhere. Just to uh, you know, get a different... Get the sunny weather I had back uh, when I originally was testing this area. It's been night as well. Night is also a very cool... Um, so we're going to go to... I don't know if I've been to the commercial district. But I think we'll go to the residential district first. I really need to move on from this point of the game. Because what I've been doing a lot of is is a lot of um, uh, sorry a lot I had a text here been doing a lot of testing at um, this just just as main level and I really haven't gotten to move on and test other things so you guys can see for the most part the frames are absolute butter smooth um, next to no frame hitching or stuttering it's very very smooth 
I am also using resizable bar right now. So in my previous video, I wasn't using resizable bar. Um, and resizable, resizable bar does give you a little bit of a frame boost. At 100%, it's less 100% render resolution in 4K. It's like four frames per second. If you're using 50%, so if you're looking just for max FPS, it's going to give you um, higher FPS. And, I, and that's just the way it always has worked from my from my findings. The lower the resolution um, in settings, the higher the frame gain. So if you're just going for max frames per second, uh, so at like 50%, I was seeing 11 frames per second uplift, which you know is, is is significant, in my opinion. If you know you're just trying to eat every frame out of your system that you can uh, from playability, this looks. I mean, this game looks incredible. I mean, it really does. It. It, 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 it's a pretty good looking game. Alright, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're at 129. Render scale, we're gonna drop that back to 80%. Alright, now at 145 frames per second. Still at 98% GPU utilization, so we're still very obviously GPU limited in this case. run around in another populated area. I think we should go check out the commercial district actually and just see what's going on with this guy. <laughs> He's just dead. Is that the person I killed? His body stayed? I, I killed some security guards earlier. That's interesting. Or maybe he just passed out. Let's go check out the commercial district. I don't think I've ever been there so we're going to check that out. Looks like I have to come this way anyway. I can't tell. I really don't want to get my gun out. How do you holster? That's cool. You can go over the water. A little bridge. Still 120. Okay. So let's drop the settings down some more. Go to 65. All right, 140 frames per second. So you can see it's scaling. We're still at 97 percent. You got this. Uh, GPU utilization. Am I allowed to use this? Probably not. Oh. Oh, these are restricted. I don't really want to go get a rest right now. So we're not gonna do that. They need people like you. What is this? Where am I going into? Am I gonna get arrested for going in here? Look at this guy. You're only as safe as your equipment out there. Okay. Well, I don't need to be in here. If you need serious firepower, it actually just runs so buttery smooth. It's unbelievable. All right, and the last test we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, 50%. So 150 frames, 98% utilization. Okay, so at what point do we become CPU limited? Medium preset, we're gonna go to medium. It turns on some of these things, so now I gotta turn these off. Okay, so it didn't change that. All right, go so medium preset, 98% utilization, 188 frames per second. Again, this is 4K upscaled from a 1080p internal render resolution now at medium settings, 170 frames per second. Not too bad. Excuse me. Testing here. 
Oh, there's a lot of people over here. I want to be a, a kind of in a crowded area. This looks like a hospital. What is this? Just one quiet day. That's too much to ask for. Oh, it's some sort of. Oh, somebody else has a robot. Look, this buddy, another robot. To those lost during the Colony War. Oh, okay. In consideration oh, that's is nice. Okay. Tell you what, let's just let's just go for broke here. Uh, the lowest I can go to before I get low, 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 low. Yeah, yeah. Motion blur uh, is off. Film grains off. Okay, so everything's on low. We went for broke. 180 frames. I don't think it made a difference. Maybe it did. The Free Star Collective and the UC are still fighting the cold. It looks terrible, though. I would never play the game like this. I mean, if you just want like, the water the is quite aesthetically pleasing, get, or so Barrett has told me. Might be New the Atlantis to relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. But I can't imagine personally playing the game this way. So. So everything's on Ultra again, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of... Where's, where is it? Motion blur. Where's depth of field? Okay, depth of field is off. Alright, so back at 4K. Everything's on Ultra. 120. So this is just the way to play. Oh, this is 50% though, isn't it? 75%. There's 100%. So now we're back at DLAA native 4K render resolution. It's not being upscaled. It's actually just using 4K and applying DLSS's anti-aliasing uh, to the image versus using anything else. Gosh, that looks really good, huh? 100 frames per second. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this performance test of an RTX 4090 13900K with DLSS in Starfield. It's incredible. This is the way they should ship the game because this is the way NVIDIA RTX 40 series uh, owner, consumer, gamer should be able to play the game without that nasty BS FSR2 because it's absolute garbage. All right, peace.